Hi, I'm Joe Belfiore with the Windows team. And now I'd like to tell you about our update to Windows 8.1. Windows 8 was a new design for Windows that was created to enable awesome new touch-based tablets and PCs. And although the number of touch PCs has grown a ton, we know that many Windows 8 and 8.1 users are still using mouse and keyboard most of the time or don't have a touch screen at all. So in this update, we've added new features to Windows so it's much easier to use on mouse and keyboard PCs with no touch screen. Let's start here with the desktop. Lots of Windows 8.1 users are spending most of their time on the desktop, so we added a new feature in 8.1 to allow those users to boot or resume directly to the desktop rather than the start screen. We also know that most users without a touch screen rely heavily on their taskbar to switch between the apps they're running and to launch new apps. The problem for these users is that there's been no way to launch or close new Windows Store apps, apps like Facebook or Hulu or Mail, directly from the taskbar. Great news, we've put the taskbar back in control of all your apps. I can now pin Windows Store apps right to my taskbar, and I can use the taskbar to show all the store apps that I have currently running. This lets me quickly switch between them or close them as I see fit. And I can easily exit my store apps via the new close and minimize buttons shown at the top. And last, look what happens when I hover over the taskbar buttons with my mouse. We've even added media control so I can quickly pause, play, or skip without needing to jump into my music app. With this update, we've also made it easier for mouse and keyboard users to find key functions like power and search. The Start screen now provides access to search and power without having to swipe in from the right or move into a corner with your mouse. We've also added a tile for PC settings on Start, so it's not necessary to swipe in from the right for that. Our Start screen is as customizable as ever, but now we've made it more natural to use with a mouse. We support a right-click context menu, and if I want to select multiple tiles, I just hold down the control key and select the tiles I want. And now I can right click and change those properties on multiple tiles at once, or I can drag them together to a new location on my start screen. Let's check out some of the changes we've made to Bing Smart Search. When you type, the suggestions that you see now include apps that you may want from the Windows Store. I'm a fan of hill climb racing, so as I start typing hill climb into search, Bing Smart Search brings up suggestions including the apps right from the Windows Store. I can install the app right from the search suggestions. To help you find your newly installed apps, we've provided a simple visual clue that you have a newly installed app in your All Apps view. When I get to the All Apps view, the new app I installed stands out clearly so it's easy to launch or to pin to my start screen.